I don't care how you feel about The Last of Us 2, Neil Druckmann, PlayStation, Sony, Naughty Dog, doesn't matter. This is not how you handle the situation. The people that are doing this are vile and disgusting. Let's get into it. Skip it up and that up. So even before The Last of Us 2 was released on June 19th, 2020, due to leaks that happened online, the game has been a point of contention. And there have been many Get Woke, Go Broke channels that have basically made their last two months of ad revenue talking about it. I've discussed it too, but I'm trying to have a more balanced approach to it. I will say, whatever about the story, the game's pacing leaves much to be desired for me. But that could be because I'm an old boomer who likes his dude bro shooters. I will admit that. But anyway, we know what's happened. The game has been review bombed on Metacritic, which some of the re negative reviews are very justified. But you could see a lot of people haven't even played the game and they're just typing away angrily because they have a lot of time on their hands. But whatever, you could have played the game or you could just disagree with the story. And if you're doing it in a mature fashion, I'm okay with it. But when it gets to this level... When it gets to people literally threatening the actors and actresses that worked on the game because they just, you know, they were making, they make a living reading lines off of a piece of paper, it goes too far. And these people are absolutely disgusting. And that's what happened to actress Laura Bailey, who plays Abby in The Last of Us 2. And what she posted on Twitter, she screen capped it. What people are saying to her is absolutely disgusting. Man, I try to only post positive stuff on here, but sometimes this just gets a little overwhelming. I blacked out some of the words because, you know, spoilers. Side note, thank you to all the people sending me positive messages to balance it out. It means more than I can say. And I guess I'll include what she actually put some screen caps here. And it, it's disgusting. These basement dwelling nerds who have nothing better to do. Imagine just doing your job and feeling like your life is at risk. And don't tell me that this is no big deal. Don't. I mean, they're threatening her damn kid. They're threatening her kid. I remember what before No Man's Sky was released, I did a story on this too. And I know I've brought it up in other videos as an example. Steve Schreier, who used to work for Kotaku, no longer does. That game was one of the most hyped games of this generation, and it ended up being one of the biggest duds. It's a much better game now. It's also on Steam. It was at first a PlayStation 4 exclusive. And there were people threatening him, physical violence against him, because he had he dare question No Man's Sky, one of the most overhyped games of the eighth generation. And I don't understand it. Even me, who has been very critical of Anita Sarkeesian, I've been critical of her for years. And I remember back, I believe it was in 2015. Yes, it was 2015, where the FBI confirmed that the threats against Anita were real. Okay, it wasn't just her pearl clutching or anything like that. They were real. I made a video saying, I don't agree with it. I, I, I don't. I was mad that people were threatening Anita. Look, you could disagree with her all you want to. I've disagreed with her, but the woman's life shouldn't be threatened because we don't see eye to eye. And I remember I lost a ton of subs because of that video. She deserves the threats. Why does she deserve the threats? Why? Why can't you just disagree with her online? Why does she have to feel like her life is on the line? And it was verified by the FBI. It wasn't just, oh, okay, she's just saying it to go, woe is me. No, it's not. It was verified by the FBI. That's why I came out with that video. And it was not popular because people were like, yeah, she should be scared. Why? If you feel that way, you're wrong. You're absolutely wrong. You could dislike Neil Druckmann, or people call him Neil Cuckman. You could dislike the Naughty Dog. You could dislike Sony. You could dislike The Last of Us 2. You Whatever. But once you go into the personal lives of the actors, all they're doing is reading the lines off a script that they're paid to do. And you're threatening them? And then you wonder why the gaming community has a bad rap. And I know 98% of you have the same mindset I do. We may not see eye to eye, but you're a rational, intelligent adult, 98% of my audience, that you realize, Rich, we could just disagree, and that's it. But to the 2% that actually think this is okay, you're assholes. You're assholes. I'm sorry. And you should be ashamed that you think that this behavior is acceptable. And though these 2% right here make the entire gaming community look like garbage. So you can thank them that we have a stigma. 
This is Richard Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one. Hey, if you enjoy my content, consider becoming a Review Tech USA member. I'll have a link below in the description. I live stream now on this channel all the time, and it gives you access to cool emoticons to use as well while I live stream. Again, link below in the description. Thank you for your continued support.